so hello so i meant to film yesterday which was day 11 but i did not there we go because the only reason i did not is because well i only got about three hours of sleep and i had to get up at like five o'clock and work shift so i was absolutely shattered shattered by the time i got home so all instincts to video went completely out the window just completely out the window um so yes i wanted to have a little chat because i'm chilling right now i've got a little bit at work um for a reason uh, <laughs> but i've got a couple minutes so i was like do you know what let me jump on real quick and i seen I've seen a couple of comments about this, so first of all, tablet is... I'm going to attempt to make tablet first. I'm going to try. Try to make tablet. I haven't made tablet before. And mum reminded me it's kind of a long process. So, we're going to attempt to make tablet. I think tomorrow. For the first time. And mum can test that. Um, but we'll see because I might not try it tomorrow I don't know I'm going to have to try it at some point but I don't know um, I have an extreme lack of fuel and I'm off from tomorrow till like Saturday so technically I can stay in the house the whole time till I'm paid because I don't really have fuel to do much else. and that was kind of like half the reason I was going out to mum's was like if I have fuel so, but I will be showing how I make the tablet. I will be actually running through my first batch with y'all. Um, but, yeah, I'm also going to be, um, obviously, as I said, I'm going to show you like bits of what I do, but I'm not showing you the actual put together hampers till after Christmas, only because, well, I don't want the family jumping on and seeing, you know, sneaky sneakies. Yes, sneakies. <laughs> yeah, they already know they're getting tablet, they know they're getting snacks, and they know they're getting a present. They don't know anything else. So, that bit I'm going to keep under wraps. The stuff I get and stuff I put in it, that I'll happily show you. Is. Um, but it'll be what I decorate to carry the tablet and... How I set it up for each family, well, each, like group that get well mum and patrick tracy and the kids and lou and the kids how i set them all up for the different ones and stuff that but i'm not going to show you till after christmas once they have their presents i will show you what i'm getting like i'll show you the video of the hampers that i've taken when i put them together um i'll show you the breakdown of everything beforehand because that's what i plan on doing like obviously showing the making tablet showing getting the snacks going gift shopping that i'm going to show without actually showing you what it is i get and then i'm going to take a separate video of me putting all the hampers together and then show you it's after christmas well i might be able to put the snacks and stuff in first but we'll see we'll see we'll see but yeah i'll probably to be fair i'll probably put them up on christmas day um everybody else is waiting till after christmas to get presents so that's just how the cookie crumbles. But yes, it's cold, it's dark, it's wet, it's miserable. It's not actually that cold to be fair, it's six degrees. So it's still cold, but it's no chilly cold yet. We have not hit the point of... Oh. Oh. We have not hit the point of being chilly cold yet, so... We're getting there though. We're getting there. So for now, I'm going to go and go find my mother, apparently, a pack of Christmas cards. But we have that. There is a shop here that does that, so that's where I'll be going. And yeah, see you later. Hello again. I am absolutely shattered. And this time it's not from work. It's from being a woman. If you know, you know. This is painful. This is, this is very painful. But we're here. Today's Wednesday. I'm looking after the godchildren today. 
So I got here at like 20 past two to go pick up the youngest and none of the spaces near the primary side are available apart from the ones on the roundabout but that's just asking to get my car hit. So I was like, really? Like, really? But then I found this lovely little spot that's like kind of at the side of the secondary in between the like football pitch and the astroturf and the rugby pitch um i've got the all weather courts in front of me and a big container um but i'm just looking at the view of the pretty pretty hills and the pretty pretty castle so i thought i'd show you so this is a bit zoomed in because there are kids playing on the football pitch and obviously i don't want to get them in but look at how pretty the sun actually went and hid behind a cloud just as I was like flipping the camera around, so but it looks so pretty. So, yeah, I am now just waiting till about three o'clock, well, just before three. I'll probably head at like ten past, well, ten to, not ten past, ten to, um, and go stand where I need to stand and uh, go pick up the wee one go back to the house and sit and relax because I'm in no fit state to be doing anything. anything. This is day two and do you know what? Little little disclosure, right? Um this might be a little bit TMI. But I have got PCO so the cysts popping right now is insane and I not long came off my birth control so this is my first like natural period in like over a year and oh okay we're not vibing we're not we're not vibing we're not doing well I have painkillers um and I'm about to be able to take more painkillers in like the next hour or so and by that point I'll be starting to think about tea so I'll be able to hang on till tea time but yeah, the the painkillers that I need to take to actually like effectively get rid of the pain fully. I'm in no fit state to be able to do anything and obviously looking after kids I need to be able to do something. So I I take Brufin, just plain old ibuprofen, Brufin. Um I take that and it knocks the edge off, I can function, I can do things. It's still there, it's still painful. I'm absolutely shattered all of the time. All of the time. I'm so tired. But. Well this is. Oh, it should only be three days. I'm hoping it should only be three days. Because I'm just so tired. I just want to sleep. It's all I want to do. All I want to do is sleep. But we have things to do. Like look after children. So yeah. That's what we shall be doing. Do you know what? It hardly ever snows on Christmas, but I still very much associate Christmas with snow. And it's really weird thinking to me that Christmas is very, very soon. And I'm looking at the, the, the hills. And there's nothing. Like, it does not feel like it's nearly Christmas time at all. But it hardly ever snows at Christmas, so I don't know what... <sighs> I'm pretty sure I did have, like, one snowy Christmas when I was a child, and that was the best Christmas ever. And that's just... That's been it ever since. That's probably what happened to me. That's what I'm going with anyway. Hello. So, I think the last time I filmed was Wednesday. We are now on Friday. I completely missed a day. And I don't even know how. But I did. To be fair, I did sleep most of it. And I was absolutely knackered. And if I wasn't asleep, I was wanting to sleep. So, 
that's probably how we missed the day. Um, because yeah, I was I was just fatigued. I was in a lot of pain. I was not having a good time. So yeah, I just kind of took the day off and relaxed. Not gonna lie. Now it's payday, and I'm getting ready to go out. So. I'll be bringing you along with me. We're going to go get the pennies out. I'm gonna get McDonald's breakfast. I'm gonna go get my nails done so they're Christmassy. Then I'm gonna go and buy Mum and Courtney's presents. We'll stop and get a couple presents for Michael. And then I'm gonna get him a coffee, come back up. And, oh yeah, when I get the cash out, I've also got to go and get gas and electric and a couple other bits that we need for the day. Um, I'm going to come up with a coffee. I'm going to give him his coffee, put the gas and electric in, obviously, with his own up. And then see how he's feeling and see if we're going to Dundee or if we're staying in Perth. Because, well, if he doesn't come with me, then I'm not going to go to Dundee. I don't want to go to Dundee on my own. So I'm not going to go to Dundee. Um, I'll just stay in Perth and finish my shopping in Perth. I can do that. It's fine. Um, if he does come with me, then we're going to go to Dundee. And finish what I can of Christmas shopping. Now he gets paid on Wednesday so I do also have to go shopping shopping. Um, and I'm thinking Lidl today. Every time I go shopping recently I'm going shopping in a different shop so I want to try Lidl see what I can what damage I can do in Lidl with whatever money I have. Now, please remember, when I do my shopping challenge, um, I am factoring in the stuff we have in the house, but I am also factoring in that he gets paid on Wednesday. So he can top up any bits I don't. So, bear that in mind while I am doing that. Now, I'll be back once I dry my hair. And we're back, so I'm just waiting on the straightener seating up. I'll go with the chocolate bar thing. It's got my chocolate in it, I ate the chocolate. Nope. I like it to look pretty up there. So yes, that is my plan for the day. So we're getting ready to go out. I actually need to look like human today. I have to admit, not a fan of that. Not a fan, but... There we go. So yeah, that is my plans for the day, so I'm going to bring these along. I am going to save my shopping video though and do that as a video in itself this time. Um, and yeah, we'll see what we can do with it. So hopefully I'll be able to upload this one and a shopping video. Um, I might schedule my shopping video to go up at another point, but I'll be able to let you know. Either that or I'll upload the shopping video first, and then I'll upload the vlog. Who knows? We'll see. We will see, we will see, we will see. <laughs> so yes, so I'm gonna go to Asda, get the stuff I need for the house, so gas, electric, Put some fuel in the car. Go to McDonald's, get some breakfast. And then go into town, get little bits of presents I want to get now. And then go to Costa on the way back up. 
we're getting presents. I might actually. Um, yes, is there another one? Sorry, I messaged my friend something in regards to work and she just confirmed the person. And I'm like, is there another one I don't know about? Like, what's, what's the dealio? But anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna go get those presents tackled and then get the rest of the hamper stuff when I get back into the food shop so because I'll be able to get a good chunk of them a good chunk of the hamper stuff while I'm doing my food shop and I'd like to point out like Michael and I have our own wee hamper that we do and um, where's my oh my box in the bedroom I've not brought it through yet so I've got a um Mickey Christmas box thing I think it was a Christmas Eve box originally but I don't use it as a Christmas Eve box. I use it as a Christmas snack box. Um, we've also got two big metal tin things that we got a bottle of coke in last year. Um, and oh no, my photo's falling out. I need to get another bit of bow tack for it. sit them so it doesn't fall out. Yeah I don't have a star at the top of the tree, I have a gift card that has photos of Michael and I on our first Christmas and our second Christmas. So I need to get one of our third Christmas and pop it in. I'll see if I can do that today, I don't know. We'll see. But um, yeah so I can tell you actually what I'm getting him. Um, I was going to get a controller. But I don't know. He knows most of his presents anyway. Normally when we go Christmas shopping, we get like each other presents and then wrap them and just on that one on Christmas. Like I got my knives and stuff last year, it was really good. Like I loved it. I loved getting many knives. It was brilliant. Um but this year I'm gonna get my wee surprise and I'm gonna try and get him a good few t shirts. Um get him t shirts, get him his Lynx sprays. And um, that's it really. I'm not I'm waiting for him to decide the rest of it. But I think we're mostly dealing with ours like I'll deal with the food and everything and everybody else's presents, but I think we're mostly going to be dealing with our presents off of his pay. But we'll see. Plus there's like I want to get a countertop dishwasher and that's like two hundred and fifty quid. So I'll be better waiting till the January sales for that. When I can get a good deal on them, and it might not quite be as much as two hundred and fifty quid. Like if I can get it for like two hundred, that'd be bro. It's even fifty quid, but you know it's fifty quid. Fifty quid is fifty quid. It's better in my pocket <laughs> to get spent on more shape. Um, but yeah, so that's my plan. So. We'll see how it goes. But yeah. So hopefully, hopefully my day goes well and I can get almost everything in one go. And then anything I don't get, I'm gonna get the budget for. So I know what I need. And obviously I still have to make tablets, but I'm going to go to mum's and make tablet because, well, it's a lot easier to de-smell the house if I get it wrong. Whereas here it's a lot harder to de-smell a flat. At least at mum's if I burn it or something goes drastically wrong and I need to get rid of the smell. I can just open the back door and like, boom, smell be gone. But, obviously being on the top floor flat it's a little bit different, I can't really just do that. So I'm gonna make sure to just walk in my flat and I can't have that. I need to beat them with a wooden spoon. <laughs> That'd be quite funny. But yeah. So I'm gonna make the tablet at mum's. That means I'll have the tripod as well. Which means I'll be able to get my angles better, which means it means she's will be able to see everything. Hopefully. 
hopefully I can get my ankles sorted. I pray, right. I'm going to go upside down for a minute, BRB. them on for a second till I check for my hair. Make sure I've got it all and it's looking all good. I think so, yeah. Okay, so straighteners can go off. That's wonderful. I swelling around oh god without showing you the mess so let's have a look at my hair yeah that was good now i'm gonna finish getting ready so that is me got my gas and electric and whatnot um it is now lunchtime so i will not be getting a mcdonald's breakfast and that kind of makes me sad but I am, I should be able to keep enough money, I hope anyway. Yeah, it's like five to one. So I'm gonna go get just a normal McDonald's lunch um, before I go get my nails and stuff done. So yes, I got all the boring stuff out of the way. So now it's time for the fun stuff. Let's go in that bin. I have a bin bag bin in my car, it's wonderful. I mostly have it for work, but it stays till it's filled, so juice and stuff ends up in there too, you know, normal life things. <laughs> but yes, so I'm going to go to McDonald's and I'll probably jump back on after my nails and stuff are done. Maybe for when I go Christmas present shopping. I don't know, but I'm going to get my nails done first. And then we'll see what happens. And we are back in the nice warm car. As you can just see off screen. I have a lovely big Primark bag there. It has got, I'm not gonna lie, I got, my pair of, I got myself a pair of like booty slippers to keep my feet extra warm because I just have like little slip on slippers, like slider slippers. Um, and they were not the vibe in the cold. I definitely have to clean my rings. Um, yeah, they're not the vibe in the cold weather. So I got myself a pair of those, got him a couple bits got Michael a couple of bits for Christmas, wasn't exactly what I wanted to get on, um, but we got it, got mum's present, got Courtney's present, got my nails done, so we are happy now, I'm going to go pick up a Costa, go back, see if he wants to come out shopping, if not, I'm just going to go to B&M and go to Creef with my pals, so... That's the plan, but I'm going to go back first, let him see his Christmas presents, pop in the gas and electric, all the fun stuff that I need to do. Uh -huh. So that's the plan for today. I'm already down at £135 from 400 but I am sorted. Like we've got enough gas, we've got enough electric. And £135 to last till Wednesday is exceptionally easy to deal with. So let's see how the rest of the day goes. So we're back in my dodgy lit car. Um, I went home, showed my boyfriend the presents that I got. Um, he doesn't want to come outside in the cold and I can't honestly blame him. Um, he'll be dragging me out at some point next week after work as well when he is paid so instead me and my pal are going to be him so that is my plan I'm um, going to be an M the last bit of my money Aldi's is next to be an M though so as opposed to going to Lidl's I'm going to Aldi and I'm going to get the stuff I'm going to make sure I've got the stuff for a roast dinner I've already got the Yorkies so that's fine so I'm going to try and make sure I've got the rest of the stuff for a roast and stuff to get us through um, 
he can do a bit of a top up on Wednesday, which is fine. So I'm just going to see what I can get on Aldi. Um, I'm going to budget myself though. I'm going to try and keep a budget in B and M and Aldi, so that I still have money because I've got. I'm working a double on Saturday, no, a double on Sunday, and a double on Monday. So I want to have. That's where I come in now. I want to have money for those. So yeah, I'm going to go and head to B and M, and I'll talk to you after. So I am finally back in the house. Um, it is now like n coming up for nine o'clock. It's like twenty to nine or something. I can't remember. Or it's just after nine. I don't exactly remember. But I'm back in the house. I have done all my shopping. I spent twenty six pound in Aldi, and I spent ninety eight pound in B and M. <sighs> that was shocking. So this is part of my vlog. I will be uploading my shopping haul video. Um, about the same time actually I'm going to edit the vlog, put that together upload that um, and while I'm uploading that I'm going to do my shopping haul video and make sure that's all done together and upload that so it should be going up Friday night hoping all well Saturday morning at the latest um, I'm about to work tomorrow so as much as I didn't film yesterday, I had a very lazy day yesterday. We were waking up with the shopping haul. I didn't film much of the shopping because, well, first of all, Perth was heaving. Everybody was getting presents, so I was trying to be in and out, like in and out so fast. And of course, I got my nails done, as I said. Love them. Um. So, yeah, I was just trying to get in and out, like... I was not ready. Um, but some things I did get primer that I will be showing in the haul too. But my cute little slippers, which I'm going to put on after the haul. And my staple, because they were right next to the till. The fluffy Primark leggings. Oh, best things for winter. So, join me back in this very spot in my next video, which is my Aldi and B&M haul. Catch you later.